All right, so check it out. It's Trevor James. I just got into Hanoi, Vietnam. Today we're going for a full-on street food tour. I am so pumped. Let's go check it out. This is it, Hanoi, the northern food gem of Vietnam. You can come here and eat a ton of delicious street food that you're going to crave as soon as you leave. And as soon as you arrive, you'll notice a huge street food culture is present on almost all street corners and sidewalks, making Hanoi a street food lover's paradise. We had a huge day of eating Vietnamese street food, so make sure to watch until the end, because this video is packed with a ton of delicious street food that's going to want to make you fly here immediately just to grab a bite of these insanely delicious flavors. Let's eat. So we just got in last night, and it is crazy busy here in Hanoi and there's street food everywhere. We bought the flights just to eat so this is gonna be a fantastic day of eating. Let's go see what we can find. So you know what we're gonna get first thing right? We're gonna get a nice big fat bowl of pho. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Chào chào anh, chào chị, chào chị. Mấy bạn? À mút mút pho, mút pho. Mút khoai. Khoai 55. Oh yeah, look at that. Huge. Okay. Cảm ơn. Cảm ơn anh. <laughs> Ngon. Okay. As soon as you step into this pho joint, you know it's going to be good. The smell of fragrant pho broth just wafts through the air, and all the locals around are just devouring their pho with delight. First, vermicelli noodles are pulled into portions, bowl after bowl, and topped with fresh and soft beef. A big basket of fresh spring onions is used to garnish the pho, and a huge cauldron of broth is waiting to be scooped over top and served. If you come to Vietnam, make sure to get one of these. Look at this, guys. Oh, nice rice noodles. Yes. Add the chili. Yes. Okay. And this is um, yes. garlic. Yes. Garlic. Okay. okay. You got Okay. Thank you. Looks. <laughs> None. 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 <laughs> okay. We got a nice big fat bowl of pho. Lots of rice noodles. Lots of sliced beef. Lots of spring onions. Oh yeah. And then over here, we have uh, quay. 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 Which yeah. is like uh, deep fried dough stick. So first thing I really want to do is just have a, a sip of that broth. Try it out. Mm. Oh, wow. That broth. Mm. That is the most powerfully nutritious, energetic broth. Oh, the beef flavor is so complex. It's so simply fresh. You just feel so clean and hearty eating this. The broth is where it's at. The broth is really the money maker there. That is truly enjoyable. Come on, come on, Anne. Bye bye. Bye bye. Go on. Bye bye. That was awesome. That was an amazing bowl of pho. And now we're gonna walk around. We're gonna get some bun cha. I've heard a lot of good stuff about that. Good pho? Yeah. Okay, let's go and get some bun cha. Okay. It's gonna be really good. So we got a recommendation right in this little alleyway here to try some of the best bun cha in Hanoi. Oh yeah. Look at this. Oh. Yeah, you can see the all the pork. There's pork balls, there's sliced pork. Oh, fresh sliced papaya and carrots. Oh, some pepper. Oh yeah, and then the fish sauce. She's adding the fish sauce. Oh, and that is, that is bun cha. Bun cha. Oh yeah, that is gonna be fantastic with fresh herbs. Oh, okay, let's go try it out. 
This is bun cha, the famous Hanoi dish of grilled pork served with vermicelli noodles and a ton of Vietnamese herbs like basil and Vietnamese mint, all dipped into a sweet and slightly spicy fish sauce. It's found all over the streets of Hanoi and is definitely one of the best street foods I've ever tasted. Look at this bun cha in Hanoi. This looks fantastic. Grilled pork. Oh, and I think that's in like a fish sauce with sugar, some garlic, oh, fresh papaya, chilies, oh, and that's gonna be packed with flavor. And then they give you some fresh rice noodles, a ton of Vietnamese herbs, oh yeah, bean sprouts, tons of herbs, basil, oh yeah, and then garlic and chili. I dip everything that I can into this bun cha sauce, or oh, dipping the noodle in, get a meatball. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh, the meatball. It is so soft. There's a definite sweet, spicy, garlicky aroma in this sauce. It's definitely all about the flavor of the sauce on the on the pork as well as the sauce that it's in. After finishing up that delicious bun cha, we made our way to try another Vietnamese specialty in Hanoi, the famous ban xeo, a fried rice flour crepe slash pancake that's stuffed with little shrimp, pork, green onion, and bean sprouts. It's completely mesmerizing watching them being made on the street, and it's just as satisfying to eat. All right, so right up here, next up, we're gonna get some bun shell, rice flour pancakes. Chao chu, mut bun shell. Let's try, oh, come on, come on. Oh yeah, this just looks fantastic. So we've got the fresh spring rolls over top of rice paper, and then we've got our Ban shale, which is filled with pork, bean sprouts, shrimp, and a rice flour fried rice flour batter. We got a ton of fresh herbs and some garlic sauce. Take the ban shale. Oh, my mouth is watering here. Put that into the wrap. Take some fresh herbs. Looks like there's basil. Oh, yeah, yeah. That looks fantastic. And then wrap it up. Oh, let's see. It's not very elegant, but I'm sure that is gonna be to die for. Just dip it in some of that. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh, that is, oh, that is incredible. The freshness from the herbs, the super crispy rice flour. Mmm. And that is full of flavor. You can really taste the pork and the shrimp. Oh, that is that is next level street food here. Oh, oh. Yes. After finishing up that delicious ban shale, dipped into that nice and sweet garlic sauce, along with the amazingly fresh spring rolls, we made our way to try another Hanoi specialty, egg coffee, made with whisked egg yolks, condensed milk, and sugar. Something truly unique to Hanoi. It's been a, it's been a marvelous day in Hanoi so far. Next up, I've got a lot of recommendations to try specialty Hanoi egg coffee. Let's go try it out. Awesome. Thank you. So we got the egg coffee. It's, it comes with ice. I think there's condensed milk, that's why all the egg is so creamy. Vietnamese coffee, and you can get it hot or cold, but it's so hot out today, so let's just mix that up and then try it out. Oh yeah. Oh, look how creamy it is. Cool. Look at that. So you having a good day, you think? Yeah. It's great here in Hanoi. Yeah. Hot day with a cold coffee. Yeah, definitely. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. 
It's quite sweet, frothy. You can't, you cannot taste the egg. The egg is is, is quite creamy. Yeah. It's like, it tastes like candy almost. It's very sweet. After that egg coffee, we made our way back on the street in search of more local specialties and found ourselves in a little alley serving up some famous bunka, aka fish soup. All right, so we still got a little room and we're gonna go into this alley here. I think there's a special bunka fish noodle joint. Oh yeah. It is so busy here in Hanoi. It is awesome. We're going for more. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of food here. This is what it's all about. Going deep. We're going deep for street food. Oh, here it is, here it is. Okay. Bun ka. Bun ka. Mut, mut bun ka. Look at the fish in there. Oh. Oh yeah, so she can see she's gonna get those rice noodles nice and warm. Oh yeah, there we go. And then here comes the, looks like a crispy, some crispy dried fish. Fried fish, oh. Some veg. And then here comes the real magic. Some dill and spring onions and then the fish tomato sauce. Oh, look at that. Ngon. 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 Come on. <laughs> okay, let's go try it out. So we just came deep into this back alley to find this, oh, look at this specific bunka, which is like fish noodle soup. Oh, and I can really smell the dill in there. Coming into deep alleyways for street food. Oh, let's try that out. Oh, you can really taste the dill in there. Oh, it's like a savory, slight tomato fragrance with dill. Oh, that is hitting the spot. Oh yeah, Vietnam rice noodle heaven. Next up, for our final snack before our huge dinner feast, we made our way to another alleyway market packed with different foods to try and found one of the most unique and delicious Vietnamese street food desserts. We're gonna see if we can find any little alleyways with some local street food. That's what it's all about. Let's see what we can find in here. The deeper you go, the food usually gets better. Chào em. Chào anh. Oh. Uh, oh, this looks great. What we stumbled into was one of the most refreshing desserts I've ever eaten. A huge selection of Southeast Asian fruit with different jellies, including corn, red beans, long an fruit, and pandan leaves were all spread out into bowls across the table like a Vietnamese street food dessert bar. They were scooped into a cup and topped with a sweetened coconut milk. And watching her make it before your eyes for the first time is so exciting, as you literally have no idea what it's gonna taste like. Just look at that. It's like a cup full of sweet fruit. I think that's condensed milk that she put on the top. Oh, and ice. Okay. And I think we gotta put the ice in on top. There's just so much that she put in there. Let's put that ice in. Oh yeah. This is a perfect midday snack. Oh. That is just, there's so much, so many different types of jelly, 
bunch of different fruits. There's corn. Mm, I think there's red bean. Oh, yeah. With ice. Mm. This has got to be special. Let's try it out. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. One. Hang on. <laughs> it's really nice. Mm. Oh. The condensed milk with the ice and all the different jellies is so refreshing. Different types of fruit jellies and corn. And when you bite into those with the ice and the super sweet, super thick condensed milk, it cools you right down in this heat. It's good, right? I think we found a little gem here in Hanoi. Yeah. It's good, you don't want to stop, right? Yeah. Can I finish it? Yeah, you go, you go. <laughs> For our final meal, we made our way to try an infamously stenchy dish that the locals love in Hanoi. A huge selection of meats, sausages, fried tofu, blood sausage, herbs, and organs is all stacked up onto a plate and served with a famously stinky shrimp paste that you can dip everything into. So we've had a fantastic day of eating here in Hanoi and we are making our way for a final meal. I've heard a lot about this one stinky fermented shrimp paste dish. We're gonna make our way there. Oh, I think we found the jackpot here. Bundao. Oh, look at this. Bun. Bun. Oh, look at all the meat slicing up here. Oh, yeah. Lots of fresh Vietnamese herbs. So we're going to sit down, try it out. This just looks insane. We have a huge selection to go with the fermented shrimp paste. I think this is a looks like a blood sausage in intestine. We have some spring rolls, deep fried. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that. That looks fantastic. I think over here this is uh, tongue. It looks like the. It looks like tongue. And then this might be like a a pork knuckle sliced thinly. Oh, and then underneath there's there's fried tofu. Oh wait, here, yeah. Over underneath there's fried tofu and some other sausage. And then I think I think what we do is we just dip it into this fermented shrimp paste. But we've got to add a little lime and uh, chili. Oh yeah, yeah, mix that in there. This is gonna be good. What a cool spot. What a cool local meal. Just put a couple chilies in there. This looks kind of unique, doesn't it, Ting? Too lime. Oh, and the shrimp, the shrimp paste is potent. You can really smell that. Oh, oh yeah, there. It's turning a little white. It's turning kind of creamy. You can see this shrimp paste is turning creamy. And you just dip all of this in. And there's fresh herbs. This looks so fresh. This looks fantastic. I think I'm just gonna go right in. Oh, I'll get some of this. Go right in for the uh, spring roll to start. The, the tongue. Oh. Shrimp paste is stinky, right? Yeah, it does. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, that's, that's strong. That shrimp paste is strong. You can really, it's like a strong ocean saltiness. A, a very, very strong aroma, but the, the flavor is. Oh. It's like making it not too soft. Not too stinky. Not too stinky and not too soft. Yeah. Because yeah. But that is very strong. I, I think it takes a little bit of getting used to. Oh. Ah. Uh, Cảm ơn. 
À, ba ừ. bao nhiêu? 190. You gotta have mints after because it is a stinky, stinky dish. Mm. Cảm ơn. Ngon. Bye bye. Mm. Bye bye. So we have had a wonderful day here in Hanoi, one of the best street food places I've ever been. Just want to give a huge thank you to you for watching this street food and travel video. Please leave a comment down below. Let us know exactly what you thought. Click that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. We barely scratched the surface, but Hanoi for this one day has been amazing. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>